competitive racing GT3 championship on the PlayStation 5 platform headed to Spa Francorchamps for round four of the season. Once again, Jasmine and Tyus in the house, the main contenders in the qualifying session. But Tyus here through Blanchemont and down towards the bus stop chicane. What can he do here? He's got four tenths to find. Hasn't got much really to Jasmine. Jasmine's taken a clean sweep of poles so far this season. Three from three, but Tyus in the races has taken a clean sweep. But he's taken three from three in the races. So Jasmine, the qualifying specialist, Tyus, a bit of a race up towards the line. Tyus can't improve at the moment, stays in P2 for now. So a great lap there from Jasmine. Four tenths clear once again, but was that going to be enough for him come the race? It's going to be Jasmine starting on pole position uh, ahead of his championship rival. Jasmine now four poles from four races so far this season, but Tynus in the house, the man starting alongside him on the second, on the front row, should I say, in second place, has taken all three wins so far this season. So Jasmine will be wanting to convert this pole. It'd be the first time he could do that this season if he's able to do that. So the tensions were building here on the formation lap as the pack made their way down the Kemmel straight. Of course, the two contenders very much uh, getting ready for another assault around Spa Function, but also the rest of them as well. As we could see, Rob Poo, Emrosh, and the American guy all looking to scrap it out for the podium spots. But in the end, it was Jasmine who took his first win of the season, finally breaking his duck after an incredible number of pole positions, doing a fantastic race and uh, didn't really put a foot wrong and doing some celebratory donuts at the end to cap it off. Tynus did come around to take peak two in the end, but a well-deserved win there from Jasmine in the end. So the championship looking like this, Tynus in the house and Jasmine now tied on 166 points. So uh, it's going to be all to play for in the final two races of the season. Battle for third in the championship, best of the rest. Aquino is still heading the way in that one. He's pulled a little way clear of M. Rosh and Crookit, and Raki starting to bring himself into that battle uh, as far well as in seventh place. And Rompu, I think, a little bit out of that one now, unfortunately. Make sure you join us next Sunday or this coming Sunday at Zolder for the next round of the season. Practice will be on from 6 pm, but the qualifying will be on at 7 30 with the race from around 7 45. Like and subscribe, guys, and join us again. We'll see you very soon. Take care, everybody. See you later. Well, we've got a bit of a hesitation there as he couldn't go through Rompu, and there you go. But Em Rosh looking to the inside of Rompu, up through Radion. They come for the first time, but Jasmine holds on to the lead. Tynus, though, has got a fantastic run here coming down the Camel Straight. I don't think he's picking up enough of the slipstream, though, to really get around him coming up towards Lakum. He's going to try and look underneath him here, but Jasmine's going to hold that inside line as he knows to leave the door open. Tynus a little bit too far back to make anything happen there into Lakum for the first time. But it's Jasmine from Tynus, from Em Rosh, from the Kruno. A funny looking guy losing out there. Rompu's dropped back a few places here. He's down to seventh place.